What is up FIFA commenters? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch another video on the channel. Let's start this episode. If you're new around its corners, you know how it goes. Drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, do let me know in the comment section below if you're enjoying your FIFA experience at the moment. Boys, the eSports has gone ahead and released Barkley, Ross Barkley. Let's start with our Did You Know segment. Did you know that Ross Barkley has left Chelsea and is now playing for Auger Nice? But Chelsea agreed a deal with the player to settle the remainder of his contract, allowing him to leave as a free agent. And of course, he was signed on to Chelsea as one of the best uh, promising English players, but unfortunately that did not happen. Next, he is also having a very poor start in the league. Uh, the French media does not play. The French media is pretty aggressive with their commentary, and they say that he's having the worst start. For his starting game against PSG, uh, the media says, and I quote, starting for the first time, the Englishman never managed to be useful. The only time he was useful is when he conceded uh, a ball to Messi, forcing Dante to tackle Messi, and then opening the first goal for PSG, ultimately. So he's not having the best of season so far, and that means that we shouldn't expect to see a lot of performance-based cards from this man right here. No, he's actually born in Liverpool, England. I was shocked to see that. He graduated the Youth Academy of Everton, played for Everton the most amount of appearances, 150 appearances, 21 goals from 2010 to 2018, eight seasons. And then he was sent on loan to Sheffield uh, Wednesday, where he did uh, 13 appearances before being sent on loan to Leeds as well, where he only did four appearances in 2013, and then was purchased from, uh, by Chelsea in 2018 to 2020. Uh, two and of course not having the craziest of season uh, uh the craziest of seasons 58 appearances five goals only for chelsea nothing too crazy he was also sent on loan from chelsea to ashton villa before being purchased now uh in 2022 by uh and you know we hope that he has a better follow-up games uh that's what we hope for this player now looking at the cards Esports has gone ahead and released. They're very interesting, boys, if I have to say so myself. This guy is a six foot one, high low work rates. And it's the same thing. It's the same thing for the striker. Both are high low, both are right footed, both have four star skill, five star weak foot. Esports is not changing players' height so far, but it's uh, left to see. Now, in terms of alternative position, this striker card gets center forward uh, as opposed to the right winger who has a lot more alternative positions. Of course, it's on the wings. Right mid, left mid, left winger, but that is a okay. Now, looking at the stats, it's it's really simple, boys. It's really simple. It really depends what you want to do with a player like this. That's that what that is what will determine how you uh, move with a player like this. So the first thing I will mention is that he is uh, lengthy. The striker is lengthy as opposed to the uh, right winger who is controlled. In terms of in-game stats, the right winger gets a, a few more in-game stats than the uh, striker, but it's not that important. The, what is important is, is the pace, right? The pace, 90 pace overall as opposed to 86. So the pace is clearly better for the right winger. For the striker, the shooting is clearly better. You do see an 88 overall here and an 84. You do see that right there. So really, if you're going to play, if you if you need a striker, boys, it's, it's just that simple. If you need a striker, you could easily go with this right winger, move him in game because he has a lot more pace. But if you need a pure striker, somebody who has absolutely insane shooting stats, look at that. 88 positioning as opposed to 84, 86 finishing as opposed to 80, 93 uh, uh, shot power as opposed to 91. So clearly better shot, better shooting stats for somebody who is a dedicated striker. Now, when, it, when we move to the passing, of course, the right winger has a lot more passing, uh, 80, 85 uh, uh, vision as opposed to 84, all the way down, it's a lot better for the right winger. Same thing for the dribbling, a lot better for the right winger. Uh, uh, when it comes to defending as well, defending is a lot better for the right winger. And finally, the physicality is also uh, is, is a little less. The physicality is a little less as opposed to the striker who gets 81 overall as opposed to 79. But when I look at the split here, it does seem like the right winger has better overall. Like, look at this stamina, 82, 70, as opposed to 67, 80. Uh, of course, the strength is a lot more for the striker, 86, but 80, that's still pretty good. And then the aggression is better for the right winger. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit. I'm a bit. I'm a bit. I'm a bit uh, uh, sort of torn. This guy is lengthy, and we know how much lengthy is important. So if you if you're a lengthy merchant, you'll probably go for uh, a Barclay lengthy. But this right winger also offers sensational amount of stats, in game stats that are quite different. The only really downfall of this right winger is the shooting. That is the only downfall of this card. 
Now, if you think you can play with the control, if you think the shooting is a okay for you, you can go ahead and pick the right winger. But if not, you have the option to go ahead for the striker. So we reviewed the stats in there. Let's look at the player traits. Both of them get uh, injury prone, which has not been a big issue this year. Long shot taker for both. Now, moving on very quickly to what you need to complete this SPC. It is quite expensive, if I do say so myself. It is quite expensive. And the reason for that is because it requires three SBCs. The first one uh, requires a team of the season, uh, a team of the week, sorry, one minimum one and an 83 overall, an English player, minimum one, 84 overall, and then finally a league, uh, uh, a minimum one, uh, 85 overall. And this is in a uh, four on two, one, two narrow formation right there. Uh, the formations are not that hard to, to complete. So that should be a okay. Honestly, if I have to tell you my opinion on this card, if I have to tell you which one I would pick, I would probably have to go with the lengthy because it's the meta. It's just the meta. I know that the this version of Barkley has a lot going for itself. You know, the dribbling, the pass, the, sh the, the pace is a lot better. But the lengthy accelerate is crazy this year. And eSports went ahead and did that. So we have to play by the rules of eSports. And we definitely have to go ahead and pick that lengthy one. Let me know if you will be completing yourself a cheeky Ross Barkley. And I will catch you very soon in the next video for another play review. Peace out.